favorite rivers. We're uh, actually in one of our favorite type of spots. We've got, as you can see, an overhanging tree. Um, fairly good depth. I'd say we're probably at least six feet, which for the river right now is pretty, pretty good. Um, we're kind of right on a current break. So you got current coming out here, your main current going downstream, and it's kind of wrapping around a little bit right here. A nice solid break. So we're going to drop this bullhead. We're going to drop him down straight there. We had to remove some of our branches. Always try to make sure your branches are out of the way. You don't want to get a big fish on. Heck, even the bait, you don't want to get wrapped up in a branch and uh, give it some wiggle room to get off. So we're going to send this guy down, set our uh, last pole just over here a little bit, and uh, check it tomorrow. like it was caught on a uh, bluegill. We had our yep. worm stopper there. Good corner hook. Right there. First check this morning, got three flatheads, uh, none too big, but but decent sized flatheads. So we rebaited and we're heading back to check to see what the day bite's doing. And we will rebait again with some of our biggest and best bait. And uh, we'll come back tomorrow morning bright and early and check it out. So hopefully next thing you see, you uh, watch us pulling up some flatheads and some pole bobbing. So we'll catch you around. Yeah. All right. so. We get, que we get questions uh, all the time on uh, what type of bait do we use, you know, poles, boat, accessories, things like that. But one of the main questions that we get is, what's your preferred bait? So, in the cooler here, we've got a variety of different baits. Uh, we're going to go ahead and have our bait boy try to pull some up with a net. And just kind of, a lot apparently. And we're going to kind of show you what we have in here. I think we got a little mixed bag, so let's check it out. Bluegill. Alright, let's start with a bluegill. Can you put those back for, for now? Okay, down. So this is a, a pretty typical size bluegill that we use. Um, every now and then we use some that are a little bit smaller, and every now and then we use some that are a little bit uh, bigger. But uh, this is one of our preferred baits, uh, probably the one of the least preferred, but uh, it, it works really well. Oftentimes, if we've got a lot of bullhead, we'll save our bluegill and use those for the day bites. So let's see we go back in. Let's see what bait boy has next. Now it's another bluegill. Apparently we have a ton of bluegill. Oh, here's a... So this is something else we're, uh, <laughs> we're, we're, we came across this year. This is a drum, and you can see it's pretty lively. <laughs> so uh, 
we came across a couple drum while we were out um, carp fishing actually so we're gonna give these a try this year Next up is Logan. All right, this hey, right here. I, hey, hey. The, I could do it. <laughs> we, I had to go for it while it was there, okay? Our bait boy's serious about his job. So this is one of our preferreds. This is uh, obviously a bullhead. One of our very number one baits. Um, been kind of hard to come by these days, but uh, I tell you what, you, when you hook it, you slide the slide the hook right up here in front of the fin. It's a nice tough patch right there so they stay on for a long time. Uh, they're very lively. We just checked one that was not eaten last night. It wasn't eaten this morning and it's still alive on the hook. So uh, I tell you what, bullheads work phenomenally and this is our number one choice. So we've got the bullhead in here, we've got the drum, we've got bluegill. I think that's all we've got in there. The one thing that we, well two really, but one we haven't mentioned is green, green sunnies, green sunfish. We love green sunfish. They're very, very hyper, very active, uh, and they work great as bait. And the other one is goldfish. We don't have any goldfish now because we had plenty of bluegill, but goldfish work pretty well. So there you have it. That's our favorite uh, favorite baits. Shout out to Bait Boy Huntley. He got a little wet by, I think, that lively drum and maybe that uh, behemoth bullhead. See you later. Here, sorry. Yes. He looks like great. Spencer just put this in the boat, and uh, now I get a look at it. We shut the boat off, the motor off, and uh, this is what we're looking for. We don't know exactly how big, but what do you think, Spencer? Thirty? Oh, he's low thirties, probably. Yeah. Hey. Beautiful fish. Big hey, old guys. belly on it. The, the These things are really starting to move. Right the, there. The get a shot of that mouth again. Look at that big old thing. Guys! Beautiful. Nom nom. <laughs> hey, guys! That's it for our first trip to the river. We caught we caught a few flatheads. We caught one trophy-sized flathead. They're just kind of getting they're getting rolling. So uh, this is just the first of many. Let's hope for some rain and some warmer temperatures to, to get that water temp up. So that's gonna be it for us and thanks for watching. <laughs>